What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? How you guys doing? Welcome back for another episode. We are live. We're doing it live. We're doing it live. We got no notes today. No notes. Well, we semi kinda, notes. We semi got a couple notes. notes. Half notes. Half partially notes. notes. Anyways, you know who it is, John. White Bell Slayer. White Bell Slayer. We here. It's a little warm today. It's fucking hot. I don't. I'm gonna talk about how fucking hot my week was. We're coming off hot today. It's hot. I went to Tampa on Monday, and first of all, it took me. I I had to leave at one in the morning because I had a red eye. I get there like at 11 in the afternoon because the time change. I get off the airplane. It's 102 degrees and 65% humidity. Oh, it's going to be hot as fuck tomorrow. No, it's at the beach. It's cold. It was colder today. Oh, but okay. needless to say, my balls was hot. My balls was hot. My balls was hot all week. That's a... So you flew in this morning, huh? Yeah, I got... I left... That's some respect. He, yeah. he, flew, in, he flew in this morning, got into the, for the LAX or wherever he yeah, flew LAX, into, yep. drove down... He went, even to did, he went to work, did the class, and now he's here doing the podcast. Fuck. And he's competing tomorrow. I'm dying. That's why I got four drinks today. With no beers today. Ultra. Ultra. So I got two hydration drinks and two one liters of water. I plan on drinking all four of them <laughs> he's in gonna this have to hour. Pee. He's going to be in here like, Ugh. I might pee my pants. Uh, um, but, you know, that brings me, I, we started talking about this earlier. Uh. I went to Tampa this week, and I was trying to train because we're competing this weekend. Both of us are competing. Uh, he's competing in a little bitch-ass weight class. So I'm competing in ultra like a man. Um, <laughs> but I went to Tampa, and I wanted to train. I brought my gi and everything. I, for, I, I left clothes at home so I could so take a gi. Like, I didn't bring uh, – I had business meetings. I didn't bring dress shoes so I could bring a gi, and I bought dress shoes there, right? So I could bring <laughs> a gi. And I get there, and there was a check mat like half an hour, 45 minutes away from my, my hotel – which is a little bit far, but I thought about it. And then the only other thing that seemed like it was, that was actually jiu-jitsu, didn't seem like anything, was a Gracie Academy, which is oh, that's right. the online belted schools. Um, I, and I wanted to go, but then I started looking at like what they offered. And the day I was going to go, they had, a, they had an adva- a quote-unquote advanced class for an hour and a half. And the way they described it, there was no rolling in the description. It was like advanced techniques and advanced sparring, or not sparring, uh, uh, fuck, what do they call shit in practice? Positional sparring? Nah. When you go back and forth a million times. Oh, just drills. Drills. Yeah, advanced drilling. And I was like, I'm not going to go to the class when it's hot as just shit. Just to drill. Just to drill. I mean, I probably could have used the sweat. Yeah. But the time change and everything. It didn't, they didn't roll. It didn't, like, it didn't seem like there was rolling. So I was like, man, and then. And it's like, you, it, I couldn't see for sure, but the way they were advertising it, mm-hmm. their head instructor was a brown belt from Henner and uh, his brother. His brother, yeah. And it looked like he got his brown belt online. Huh. Like the garage. Uh, yeah, the garage right, shit yeah, where it's yeah. like, here, here's how I fucking do an arm bar. And this yeah, is yeah. how, you know, it's like, what do you think about that? Like, what do you think about getting belts online? No. Nah. Well, I'll say this. I seen um, Pedigo. Has yeah. a belt online thing, but it's white belt. No, it's a white belt proficiency. No, are you sure? Yeah, they were just talking about it. It's a new thing. The deal is, they're gonna have like a course that you could take, but you have to go in, and you have to roll, and you have to, to go get the belt. To get the belt. So it's not like completely online. Yeah. So, so it's I would hope that they're gonna keep the standards of Pedigo and keep that. One hundred percent, they are. But so the difference is, to the best of my knowledge, I don't know this to be fact because. Uh, the fucking Gracie Academy does all kinds of fuck shit. But <clears throat> to the best of my knowledge, you can actually get the belt online. You send them you a video, video yeah, of you I, doing I think the that's techniques. How it works, yeah. And I think the only time you actually have to go there is that's for black crazy. belt. That's crazy. And you got you got to go there for like a week. And it's only like techniques probably. I can't imagine you're going to have a lot of skill rolling if you're just doing it on How on would like you even know how to roll if you've never rolled, if yeah, you're just know. doing online techniques? That's crazy. Like, I was thinking about it all week. Because I looked it up as soon as I landed. I, I didn't stay in Tampa every night. I had to go out to the fucking bayou or wherever the fuck I was. It was a terrible trip. Good for business, but a terrible trip overall. <laughs> to get, to get from, the, from I left my house to my hotel room in Tampa was 16 hours. That, How? Didn't you fly? I flew. Why did it take so long? So I, had to, I left my house at 8 p.m. Uh-huh. for a 1 a.m. flight. Because you never know what's going to happen at LAX, right? right? Yeah. You never know the traffic. Yeah, so yeah. I get into my sitting down at the airport at LAX about 11.30. After parking and taking the tram and all that shit. So my flight was at 1. Okay. So <clears throat> 1, and I, th- I landed at 11 p.m. in Tampa, which was, I think, nine, 9 here, I think. And then it took me, like, two and a half hours to get the rental, take two buses, two trains, 
to the rental car place, get the rental car, oh, and drive an yeah. hour and a half. That's annoying. It was just such the a big airport that you need to do that. Or just they have it. it split up. It's weird. There's like so that's I, like Dallas. I, Dallas, you got to take yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. that. They have the train. So it's similar to that, but I only fly Delta because I'm a fucking gentleman. Uh, and Delta has their own uh, terminal. I think LAX had their own terminal too, but Delta's got their own terminal uh, at almost every airport I've mm-hmm. been to. And you usually got to take a fucking tram to it. That's dumb. But Delta has the best seats. I'm too big for a little ass seat, dog. I got to fly Comfort Plus. Comfort, comfort Plus. plus. <laughs> just so you know about that. It's usually like an extra 150 bucks, but you get like six more inches on the he's a, he's a, he's a He's a dude inside the plane demanding two seats. I want to pay. I demand it. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that's, there's a video of that girl. Yeah. She's like, yeah. ah. It's pretty funny. But anyway, yeah. that's crazy, yeah. man. So, yeah, but the, the whole belt online. So I didn't, I didn't get a roll this week because of that. And I didn't then, get a roll this week, too. So, Actually, so, I rolled Monday. Oh, you only rolled Monday, really? Yeah, I only rolled Monday. Wow. Yeah. So since you were talking about it, then, then I came home. I left Tampa. I left my hotel room at like 4.15 a.m. So that's 1.15 our time. Yeah. Went to the plane, got on the plane, flew home, got to LAX, took forever to get to back to my car at LAX. I ended up, I ended up having to walk a mile to my car because the tram kept passing me. The tram to like to take you to the parking place kept passing me. So I said, fuck it. I just walked. It was like an 18-minute power walk fucking to get my with car. All, with all your luggage? I, I only bring a carry-on in the back. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then uh, fucking drove back to <laughs> shop and went back to my work and then worked all day and then came into class. And then I, t- I walked into class and I told Omar, I was like, hey, uh, I want to roll uh, every roll, but I want to roll with white people. And he's like, no, nah, no, nah, you need to take breaks. You're competing tomorrow. This motherfucker, well, first of all, we had an hour of drilling, drilling Ooh, today, yeah, which was. was the, the, the techniques were dope. I was they watching cool. them. They were pretty dope. You I, know, when he was teaching. I'm trying to remember. I recorded you guys because yeah. I was like, I like that one. When he was teaching them, they looked like some fuck shit. But when, when he actually did, they worked. They were, they were legit. Rice and beans. That's what that was. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, for sure. Lasso. It was sure. like lasso. refried beans. Yeah, exactly. it, yeah. It, it, it was, yeah, exactly. Yeah, lasso. lasso. It, yeah. It's called refried beans. Yeah. It's, but, it's not like lapel, yeah. crazy barambola, but it's a little extra, a little spicy, yeah. maybe a little pepper to your beans. It's you like know? The, the jalapeno. The jalapeno, yeah, yeah. The jalapeno refried beans. That's what that was. So I tell Omar, you know, get, I want to roll all the rolls, but give me, basically give me white belts. I'm not yeah. trying to smash you one day. I was trying to get, I was trying to work my back out. My yeah. back is killing me. Yours too, isn't it? Bad. Um, this motherfucker, first roll after an hour of that shit, gives me Cody. <laughs> And then not I, competing. And, and I, think, yeah. I think Cody took it wrong that I said to him. I was like, oh, you're going to give it easy to me? And he said something, and I was like, oh, you're going to give it to easy to me? And he's like, what do you mean I'm going to give it to you? Like, I think he thought I was making fun of him. Yeah, yeah. So, so he it was me. super hard? He didn't give me, he, didn't give, he gave me like medium. Yeah. And I was like, come on, dog. I'm fucking competing tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Then he gives me Jonah. <laughs> yeah. Man, fuck you, Jonah. <laughs> Speaking of which, I was about to go forward fingers deep on him twice. Trying to he do had, a good old oil check? Yeah, he had me in a couple positions, and I was like, I know if I go four fingers deep right now, I'll get out of this position. <laughs> that fool's yeah. got some supple cheeks, too. Yeah. <laughs> this is, uh, this week's been rough for me, man. It's I, a rough week. I, uh, so Friday, I, you know, I've been training a lot for this competition, and I plan on even picking up my level of intensity and my level of training because we are, like, after this, we're about nine weeks out to Vegas. Uh, Master Worlds? Master Worlds. So, I wish I could do that. So I'm, I'm going to... Wait, are you officially going? Yeah. Okay. I've been wanting to go. So I'm going to put in a camp for that, and I want to go hard uh, on that one. And Nine I'm weeks? going 195. Really? Is that close? Yeah, it's in August, dude. So end of August, though. End of August. It's yeah. the last week in August. Last week in August, yeah. I'm going to go for sure. I'm going to hang out. So... If you want to get fucked up at Master Worlds, some of you know what's up. We're getting fucked up. We're talking. We're doing podcasts. Hell yeah, that would be sick. I got, I got a homie that wants to do the podcast. He's good. He'll be All good, right. I think. Um, so, so I've been going hard, you know, lifting, training. But Friday, I woke up, and uh, my lower back was kind of sore. It wasn't like, you know when you wake up sometimes, and you're like, oh, I slept wrong, and you're like, eh. So whatever, I went to the 10 a.m. class. I know and, that too well. And I was like, oh, I'm all right. And I came home, took a shower, and I was like, yeah, it's a little, it's a little tight, a little sore. I was like, it'll be all right. Take some ibuprofen. Go to 7 p.m. class. Boom. It just starts getting worse and worse. And then the did next you say day. you did the morning class too? Yeah. And then... Um, you know, by the end of the night, I was like, oh, man, this is this is something. Like, I could tell it was something. Because just standing up, I was kind of, like, hunched over hunched? a bit. And I was like, yeah. man. You know, you either, you either stretch those really small muscles in your back. I don't know what they're called. But but I, that, this is where it's crazy. I didn't – I don't know, like, what, like, Wednesday, I didn't do anything. I didn't feel Dude, any I've pain. I've done to myself sleeping. Yeah, it could be. So – so then Saturday and Sunday we had like the uh, the event and a uh, birthday party and I was like, that's what you're trying to get me on the the stupid bull and I was like that didn't oh, happen. Oh, I rolled bro. that fucking. That bull. didn't happen. They put the, the B roll of me on the fucking bull getting after it. 
<laughs> and uh, yeah, and so then I went, I went Monday, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna go light. You know, I'm just gonna take it easy today. And then I ended up rolling with like Luke, and like I don't know who else. Like just, just they we're not light. And even Josh, I was telling Josh, I'm gonna try to take it easy. They just roll light. And they like, give you the work. Yeah, yeah. After, <laughs> afterwards, he goes. That's for trying to knee bar that motherfucker. No, no, no. Afterwards, he was like watching the rolls that I was going on. Oh, and that was the day where he was like everyone competing. Um, you stay in the middle and you keep rolling and you just keep rolling, keep rolling. And so there's a lot of a lot of rolls. And then, that should be some two weeks before. Yeah, and then he was like, he was like, uh, he goes, Josh goes, uh, he's like light rolling, huh? And I was like, fuck. I was like, my god. And uh, anyway, so so I was thinking to myself like I should not have done that. And so, you know, I was hurting. And then Wednesday, I didn't go Tuesday. Wednesday, I took the boys, and I had got a massage um, by. Uh, What's her name? Apologize. I completely brain farting. But um, she gave me a little, like, massage there and, like... Evelyn? Uh, Evelyn. There you go. Oh, I was going to say some wild she shit, like, too. Good thing you said dude, that shit hurt. In school. That hurt. Like, I was it, was... it was painful. And then she did the cups. And then I felt... It felt good. And it's felt better every day since, but it's still Jack. So I haven't gone to class because... I figure if I'm gonna hurt myself, it's gonna be in the competition because I you really want to compete. You were there fucking flexing on us today. I wasn't flexing at sitting all. Sitting there just fucking all fucking yoked up, looking. I was not flexing at all. I'm just sitting there chilling, watching. And you were sitting. There, you there. were sitting there like uh, those old dudes. They sit on the fucking weight bench, and they're all jacked. No, no, no like this. <laughs> oh, sitting all sitting because like, your back's hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your back was like hurt, this. But you were yeah. sitting like that, flexing on us. I was like, damn, dog, lie all your money or what? <laughs> but yeah, so um, so I'm I'm competing up, tomorrow at two oh eight. I went up. To, to await the... So what do you weigh this week? Right now, this morning I was 203.9. So, so that's more than last week? No, last week I was 205, I think I said. I don't know what I said. Well, 203.9. Anyways, I want to be as close to 208 as possible. This motherfucker's getting fat. I'll, pr- I'll probably be under, just under 208, which is fine. But um, you said you want to do Vegas at what? 195. Yeah. That's doable. I mean, yeah, you, that's you, enough ain't time. Gotta, you ain't got to cut weight for that. Just Yeah, and that was the thing with this one too, is I don't Wait, so we're not having beers anymore? Yeah, I'll be fine now, dude. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm going to make sure I die. My goal is diet very well, extra cardio, extra working out, extra rolls to burn those extra calories so I can have a, a – I want to have, like, a, a good Why don't you healthy swim? meal. The water's cold for me. <laughs> <laughs> if, that, if it's not fucking 110 degrees out. How sucks. cold is it? I mean, it's not freezing, but it's – like, we went swimming once already. It was all right. But then it got cold again. Like I the weather, on, the weather. You know, it's like yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like oh man, two days of like almost 100 degrees, and all of a sudden it's freaking freezing again. Yeah, when I landed in LA today, it was 65 and overcast. Ex- exactly. But yeah, when I got here, it was yeah. hot as balls. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. so we're both competing tomorrow. Hence the no beard today, and all the water. I'm ultra hydrating. I compete at 2 p.m. I don't know what time did you compete at. Three. Three. So we have like 25, 26 people competing tomorrow. No, so you said 37, including kids. Oh. Uh, Man, fuck those kids. Including the kids. Um, hey, some of these little motherfuckers should be competing in adult. Some of them. Well, they are. No, no Jonathan, they're Jonathan's doing juvenile. He, oh, he's going to smash people. I'm excited to see him. <sighs> that kid is such he's a He's so good. He's so good. He's I, ridiculous. I think Jared gets to do adult. Jared? He's well, got he has to. He's purple belt. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you can't he can't do juvenile. To. So he's yeah. going to do purple belt. Um, yeah, it's a big boy belt. So... Yeah, I mean, there's gonna be a there's gonna be a whole squad. That's why. I, that's one of the re- like. If it was just that like that is a, the only reason I'm going. That, that's what I say. If it was another competition where yeah. it was just like four of us, yeah. I would have pulled out because I'd have been like, yeah. I'll rest and then I can go back to training for the. But there's a whole squad showing up, and I was like, dude, this is gonna be fun. I'm saying it right now. If someone says we're going to Olive Garden, I'm not fucking going. No Olive Garden. Who the fuck? Oh man, this is some fuck shit. Get some steaks or some burgers. No, I'm not even into burgers anymore. I need some steaks. You I can have a hamburger without the bun. Could do. But this is some fuck shit. So, man, I was at 7-Eleven getting these delicious drinks. Mm-hmm. Man, those chicken wings look so good there. Have you had a 7-Eleven uh, chicken wing? 7-Eleven food looks pretty fucking good. Man, bomb. they had like these teri- like Vietnamese wings or something. I was, like, I, I, was, I was over there licking my chops. When I used to, when, be, when, they, when they started coming out with like the pizzas and all that stuff. You've um, had a 7-Eleven pizza? Yeah. That's how you know this motherfucker's fat. I was fat. I've never even had a 7-Eleven yeah. pizza. Well, one time, one time I was, uh, when I worked at Fry's Electronics, there was a cul-de-sac, so everyone used to go back there and chill mm-hmm. on their lunch or whatever and take naps or whatever. And so I would show up before work and hang out, and, you know, a couple guys would hang out. i show up, my boy's there, and he, he's... I already got a pizza. He's already eaten a whole fucking pizza and has, like, two two liters of fucking soda that he's drinking. And I'm like, God damn. What kind uh, of pizza? I don't remember. Oh. But, you know, their food was all right. 
It was for, I don't know. Actually, it was a long time. I haven't had it. You know what? It was good. Those taquito things. Those oh, little rollers? Those little rolls? Yeah. Fuck, dude. Awesome. I went to a 7-Eleven in Tampa last night, and I almost got the food from there, too. <laughs> you regret it every time. Oh, man. We have a quick story. When I when I went to Chicago this week, or uh, this year, <clears throat> I took one of the guys that works with me to Chicago. We drove, we drove from here to Chicago. And we get to Arizona, and uh, all there's like a certain brand of gas station. I can't remember what it is. I think it's Love's or something. Uh, they have pizza. They have like their own brand of pizza at it. And uh, I'm, this is the time when I'm still doing the 100 push-ups a day. Yeah. So I'm, I'm outside filling up gas doing 100 push-ups, just ripping them out. I got gloves on and shit. And then I look up, and this motherfucker's chomping a pizza. And I was like, where'd you get that pizza from? He's like in there. And I was like, oh, dude, you got gas station pizza? And he was like, yeah, why? And I was like, I was like is it good? And he's like, yeah, it's good. And like an hour down the road, uh, I look at him. Uh, I look at him, and he's like sweating. Yeah. And he's like, oh, man, I don't feel great. And I was like, what's going on there? He's like, I don't know. So it fucked him up the whole ride, right? Yeah. And then I was, I was making fun of him for a week. This was a week-long trip. I'm cracking on him every day for eating fucking gas station pizza. Then he flies home, and I drive to Texas. Halfway in the trip to Texas, I go to a gas station. There's a Sabaro in there. Inside? In a gas hell station. Yeah. So I was like, hell yeah, let me get a Sabaro. Yeah, I would have done the same thing. But oh, no. no. Oh, no. I made it about 15 minutes down the road. Like, oh, I was, oh. The, I almost had to pull over and blast one on the side. Oh. It was bad. When we do our motorcycle, when we do our, when we <laughs> do tomorrow, our. tomorrow, you think it'd be yeah, good? Yeah, you'd think it'd be good. It was not good. When we, when we do our little, our motorcycle trips, so I've done a lot of mo- long motorcycle trips, so from like this San Diego, Seattle. This fool's this world. Yeah, yeah, from like, uh, you know, we drove to Utah, rode to Utah and back, but one of oh, the, shit, one really? of our things, yeah. Well, you one, went to Seattle though too, didn't you? Or yeah, we rode to Seattle. Border? Yeah. That's perfect. One, one of the things that we, we always do is like, is junk food. You have to have junk food. And we like, you just stop at, and it, you know. So on motorcycles, you have to stop about every 120, well, depending on what bike. My friend's bike, you have to stop about every 100 miles. Which so, is good. You get a stretch in or whatever. Yeah. But, um, you know, some, they're, not all gas stations are equal. Mm-mm. Sometimes you roll up into a gas station and you're like, fuck, they got some fuck shit food in here, as you would say. But sometimes you go to a Bucky's and it's like the fucking Holy Grail. It's or like, Terri- ah! ter- Terribles. <laughs> <laughs> We did stop there. We did yeah. stop there. Get the get the white castle. I'm not a big fan of white castle. I, I don't like white castle. I think they're nasty. I think they're waste. I don't like onions. So oh, I love onions. Anyway, and onions. But yeah, so um, so I, we we usually, I've I've had that same feeling, but on a motorcycle. Oh. Yeah. The good thing is when you fart, no one's there can smell it because it just kind of like. All right, let me finish the story. It just keeps it's going. Shit. So. I wasn't going to finish it, but now that you're talking about farting. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like... You 15, shit his pants. No, no. That's I was like happened. 15 minutes down the road, right? And I'm like, fuck, I got to take a shit. So I pull over to the gas station, blow it up, whatever. Get back on the road. I'm riding along this world. Fucking going down the road and shit. Another 20 minutes later, I was like, oh, man, this is bad. I think I'm going to have to pull over like on the side of the road. <laughs> and then I'm going. I'm like in Arkansas or something. And the, it starts getting dark outside. I'm like, what the fuck is going on out here? I'm driving. And finally, I see a gas station. And I pull over to the gas station. I jump out into a puddle of water. Yeah. And I almost shit my pants jumping into the water. And then it starts pouring rain. And I run inside the bathroom. And I'm in there blowing it up. And lights go out. And oh, I'm like, my I'm God. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I was like, I was like, whatever. I made it to where I got to go. I'm doing my thing. And I come out. And the lights are so off. So I'm using my phone going around. And there was a guy I could see who was wearing like, the, the, the gas station shirt. I was like, hey, man, what's going on? He's like, oh, there's a tornado like a mile or two away. Oh, my and I was goodness. like, so what do we do? And he was like. Nothing. I was like, well, I, I'm going this way. And he's like, you should be all right. Did you I was, leave? I just left. I listened to a gas station dude. And I was like. <laughs> he put his life on the line listening to a gas station dude. It was wild, dude. I was in this truck with the camper Did show. You, and it was all you're like, like, namaste. When you yeah. Like, oh, fuck, dude. Yeah. That's an insane. I was, I was working this week. So um, I work from home, if you don't know. But my company's in the Midwest. And so we were in a meeting, getting ready to join a meeting. And all this, I was like talking and no one was responding. I, I walk around in my meetings since I'm home, at my, especially this week with my back. You're fucking power walking Yeah, yeah, so especially with my back because sitting down for so long. So um, no one was responding. Don't you have a stand-up desk? Yeah, but I don't use it for work. Okay. It's just, but uh, um, anyway, so I, I, I'm like, no one's answering me. And I go back, and no one's in the meeting but me. Everyone left. I was like, what the fuck? And so then I get a message from my boss. He's like, uh... Yeah, there's a storm. We had to take shelter. We're all hiding in a hallway. And I was like, God damn it. I'm like, what kind of storm? And th- uh, it's a big-ass building. It's headquarters. Yo, you know, it's one, a big yeah, building. Yeah, yeah. And they're hiding in the... I was like, man, that's crazy. I'll, screw them. I'll take yeah. fires and yeah. heat. And- yeah, people are like, earthquakes. What, earthquakes? Yeah, shit. earthquakes ain't shit. 
I mean, every once in a while there'll be one, but not, not. We haven't had one in like. Where did you live in the where the north? Where North? I live in Northridge. Yeah, I was there during the Northridge earthquake. Oh, really? yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah. I, and then there was the Landers one. I was like eight miles away from Landers. That's out out there. Probably. Yeah, I lived but. in um, Silmar. That's close. That's Silmar? right next to fucking Northridge. It's the yeah, next city. Silmar. Yeah, yeah. It's the next city. Yeah, I, uh, I when I was little, um, I remember it because it was during Halloween. I remember it, everything. We had no power. Because you're many years older than me. So we had, had no power. Cognizant. Dude, I remember one. We had the shower. We had the earthquake in the middle of the night. Mm-hmm. And then I woke up with my mom dragging my arm out of the bed, like yeah. pulling me out of the bed. Because it was a fucking big ass earthquake. Yeah. And then um, I just remember, like, we had no power. Yeah. And then everyone was out grilling. And then one of the times I was like, oh, I went to take a shower. Yeah, pretty much. I went, out to, I went in to take a shower, like, one of the next days. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had no power still, so it was like a cold shower. Yeah. And then there was a fucking aftershock, and I fucking ran out of the fucking house naked and shit. I was like, ah! Ran outside. I was like, fuck this. But there was like, buildings were all condemned. They had military. Yeah. Out. It was it crazy. Was bad, yeah. yeah, it was nuts. Anyways. Let's fucking get into it. Yeah. So last Sorry time, for wasting yeah. your time. No, I'm yeah. not. Yeah, well, I'm going to send my fucking bodyguard after your ass. Um, Let's talk about who's on our oh, fucking event. What a great uh, fucking event. Pass. I loved it. Was it was so good. So that was another thing that it. fucked me up, because it started at 9 p.m. Yeah. in Florida. Oh, you watched the whole thing? Yeah, well, I watched. It got done like at one, but every the whole thing was good. Even the even the fights that went to the I, overtime. I I've seen a lot of people complaining about it. The because overtime? No, oh, about I like it. about the entire thing. Well, basically. I have I have one complaint off rip. So when they when they announced this, uh, I follow Meryl Galley, so he announced it first. And they did the worst fucking photoshops for the Flyers. Oh, they did. They were pretty the bad. The fucking disrespect. They were pretty bad. <laughs> the disrespect to my homies. They were bad. They used the same body. You could see the mole on somebody's neck. Yeah, they were pretty bad. Fucking continue your story. I I, I was just saying I was, I was watch reading some or reading some form, and one of the complaints, and I, I thought about it after was that a lot of the matches everyone was a lot of the people weren't going for things and they knew they were their game plan was to make yeah, it to yeah. the especially OT especially the, the B team guys. They were talking about it if you if you listen to their podcast and watch their uh, their shit on YouTube. They were talking about the whole time. They were specifically training for the overtime because yeah. they're like, if we could catch something during the rounds, we and, will. And I think, I think, overtime, that, we know we'll I think that's huge is, is playing, playing the, the game. Rule set. Playing the game. Yeah. If you watch uh, Helena and uh, Big Dan, they went, they went after submissions. They were like, fuck this, we're going for submissions. And so, like Helena, oh my God, she's so crazy. She's good. She, There's something 16 about years her, old, bro. Something about her is not right to me. She's 16 years old and. She, probably all she does. I don't know. I got other opinions. But can Big Dan. Big Dan with that knee bar? Did, did you see the one I put in the chat today where you could see it from the other angle? Yeah, that was oh, crazy. Oh, homie's knee went backwards. That crazy. But That's the knee bar that I always go for. Yeah, me too. I'm trying but to I do it slowly. Reason. I don't put people in that shit. This motherfucker be trying to bend people's shit backwards. No, I take it, um, I take it easy. <clears throat> but, you know, the first thing I wanted to talk about on that shit, besides the fucked up photoshops, was the disrespect to fucking Philippe Andrew. The whole time. I mean, Wagner beat him. But the whole time they were talking shit like Wagner's gonna fuck him up, fucking Philippe ain't shit. Oh, it's fucking Philippe, a four-time fucking world champion, yeah. ranked number one in the world in the IBJJF and the gi right it, now. It, there was a lot of shit talking from the the uh, across the board. No, from the um co- the the hosts. Or yeah, but they because well because Eddie Bravo is one of them. He's the no. He wasn't fucking, talking shit. No, but they they weren't just giving Philippe his fucking accolades. Yeah, Philippe is the Legit. number one IBJJF ranked dude right now, above Tynan. Yeah. He's above Tynan. Yeah. He's number one. Pinky though, right? Yeah, it doesn't fucking matter. It's it still jujitsu. It doesn't matter. He was heel. He got caught in a heel hook while he was hook, heel hooking somebody. Yeah. He's the one that got heel hooked. Yeah, by oh, Wagner. That Wagner heel hook show. was fucking slick. Yeah, he got him good. He but, set that shit up. Like but, you could see, he was like waiting, waiting, yeah. wait. As soon as he moved his leg, he was like, bam! Yeah, and he, he caught was, it. He was. He would definitely had it set up, but also, he, he was. He probably got it so clean he, he had to tap. But I think if it was an IBJJF tournament or a tournament he really cared about, he wouldn't have tapped. I mean, it was deep, for sure. $30,000 online. Dude, he's making more than that in the IBJJF. No, he's not. For sure. There's no way he's making Dude, he's 30. the number one I don't ranked. Think, I don't, he's not making You don't think Kings is paying him? Well, that's, I, not, I, that's I, not IBJJF. But that's, he gets paid to compete. Okay, that's different. If he different. doesn't show up, he doesn't get paid. Okay, that's different. I happen yeah. to know what some of them make. I'm yeah, not going to yeah. say it out loud. That's different. But it's real money. But that's like... Having sponsorship, yeah. Money. yeah. So if he can't fight IBJJF, he don't get paid because all those sponsorship deals are on wins. Wins. wins Wagner wins. Roach is a monster, dude. Watching him, I like. It's sad because he's getting. It's it's you're seeing that transition from old school, to like the new stuff like B Team, these guys, yeah. right? But 
the fucking aggressiveness that he had, and like he has that pit bull like mentality. He was just like boom. Also, that motherfucker was on everything. All the God, shit. He looked jacked. I, I'm not fucking hating. I'm just saying yeah. he's on everything. Yeah. Uh, who who beat Wagner? Nicky Rod. Nicky Rod in OT. What do they call him? Fucking Clean Rod. They have a name for him right now because he's not. I don't him. know. Yeah. I, you know, that's a good one. His back escapes were fucking insane. I was watching him like, how? They so were that's, sh- that's the second thing I want to talk about. But that, the fucking call out that did, he did when he won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not going to happen. We know that's not going to happen. Because yeah, Gordon's on uh, everything. Yeah, but he, because he competes in, in, in organizations that allow it. So is Nicky Rod. Well, that's his disadvantage. Nicky, that's Nicky, his Rod, Nicky Rod's a two times Imagine if he was on stuff. He would be he don't a need to monster. Be. He is a monster. I mean, he's already a monster, but I mean, he'd be The huge. only person who's beat him in, uh, who beat him, I don't know who beat him the first time in, uh, he, he lost a decision to get sober the first time, and the second time, Gordon beat him. The, the thing is, is like, I was listening to, you know, what's the Anthony, whatever his name is? He, he was a UFC fighter who fought. Uh, Anthony Smith? Anthony Smith. Yeah. He was talking, re, uh, a, a little bit. Said he, he felt was like a, a white pod- belt? Yeah, he was on a podcast, on podcast. and he was talking about yeah. um, rolling with, uh, the B team, essentially Craig but Jones. Specifically and, Nicky Rod. And, and, well, he talked about Craig Jones and okay. Nicky Rod, yeah, yeah. But the one when he was talking about um, Nicky Rod, and he was he was also saying, like, he, which is true. He was like, look, he's like, I rolled with Nicky Rod, and I know what he did to me. And the fact that Gordon Ryan beat him in two minutes, he's like, I can't fucking accept that. Like, yeah. my, he's like, my brain, like, he's like, he's like, you know, he was talking about, he's like, I, I'm a I good black belt. And the way that, he said that, the way that he rolled with Nicky Road, he said he had zero, he said in 90 minutes of rolling, he was never in yeah. a neutral position. Yeah, it was always Not in a dominant damage, position, yeah. it was never even in a neutral yeah. position. And he said, and for Gordon Ryan to go in and beat him in two minutes, he was like, I don't understand. He's what? like, my brain uh, just doesn't yeah. work, I just can't fathom how that's even possible to do that. So he's... He's, like, talking about the levels of, yeah. of the sport. Well, let's flash back to ADCC, <clears throat> the finals of the, uh, of the um, Ultra, whatever they call Ultra, plus 99. Yeah, I think it's plus 99. Yeah, plus 99 was Nikki and Gordon. Um, and Gordon smashed him. It wasn't even two minutes. He, sm- he smashed him, like, in 45 seconds. But no, no, it was, like, two minutes. Was it really? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, the, he, the first match, he didn't, Dude, like, I was there. 45 seconds. Dude, that takedown was so loud because Gordon gave it to him. Yeah. Dude, the whole place echoed. But... <clears throat> I think that was mental. That was mental. Uh, mental. Like game. in his head. Yeah, because I mean, Gordon was smashing him since he was a white belt. So in his head, he was like, "How am I going to beat this guy?" But now I think his confidence is so fucking high, and he calls him out because now he can prove that he's not on the shit. They. I don't know if you watched the vlog. Uh, uh, B team did a vlog the day before or the day of that came out, and they were talking about the rash guards, and they said the rash guards felt like sandpaper almost. They said that they were. They said they've never felt so much grip on a rash guard. <laughs> and, oh, the UFC one. Yeah, and they were probably they were saying probably because of Nicky Rod, right? Yeah. So they they made special rash guards for Nicky Rod because of the, of the B cream, what they accused him of. Well, they they, um, they uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Felipe Pena. Um, he agreed. He after the match he he had with Nicky Rod, he was like, no, for sure they're greasing. He's Felipe like he was super oily. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, he's an oily ass Italian. That dude probably bathes <laughs> in fucking all of them. Fucking three flowers. And Look at this for us. Uh, yeah. But so, but back on Nicky Rod. So like, that's the difference between like Philippe Pena, or sorry, uh, Philippe Andrew. I, I, if I was saying Philippe oh, Pena was... earlier, I, I meant saying Philippe Andrew. Philippe Andrew's number one ranked uh, IBJ. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, so that's why I was confused. Yeah, yeah sorry, Philippe Andrew. Yeah, Philippe Andrew's they, a they, monster, they, bro. They, they were fucking giving him the disrespect yeah, against Wagner. Yeah. And they, you were, know what it is? It's because he's so young, and they they feel like. I think that's what it is. But. Yeah, but f- dude, Philippe, Philippe Andrew is the fucking dude. Man, he's dude. awesome. And they didn't give him any fucking accolades the whole time. They were just talking yeah, shit, saying yeah, that yeah. Wagner was going to smash him. And Wagner did. Wagner ho- fucking heel hooked him really quick. But that's the difference between Nicky Rod and where Nicky Rod is a is a nogi sub only dude, and he makes his money from seminars and sub only versus someone that trains versus Philippe all the Andrew, time. who's who's in the gi, who's getting paid by Kings, getting paid by whoever else he's getting paid by, because for sure Nicky Rod's arm fucking popped. He said it wasn't fucking tight, but there was a oh, point yeah, when it was backwards. Like yeah, no. And he's like, that shit didn't pop. He's like, he's like, I didn't even feel, it didn't even feel tight to me. I think he was. I think he. I. I think that was sarcasm. I think it was There's too. There's no way that it was, backwards. was bad. But bro. that's how bad Nicky Rod wanted it and did not want to lose. Oh yeah, the, he didn't want to lose, want to lose the, 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 yeah, the wave. They would have never heard the end of it. And the good part about it is that the uh, if you watch uh, if you follow Danaher, he posted about it today and he, he gave fucking he gave Nicky Rod the fucking. 
Kudos. He gave him his flowers. But also, he was like, yeah, that's my fucking student. Yeah. And it is. He's, yeah. not, he's not lying. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? It is his he's, student. He's using you know his I mean? techniques. Yeah. yeah. And well, it's, not necessarily his techniques, yeah. but it's you and know, the a funny, lot of the funny thing that also about the commentary is, like, so many people are confused about Nicky Rod. He's a fucking brown belt. He's not oh, a black belt. Out, purple belt. No. They just kept referring. They never said him as a black no, belt. No, but they were referring to him like he's a black belt. Oh. And then they kept talking about how Big Dan's a purple belt and Helena's a blue belt. They were, they were talking about that shit, and it's like, yeah, well, Nicky's only a brown belt. Yeah. And he's a pretty recent brown belt, maybe like six months, a year. He's not, I don't yeah. think he's a year at brown. Yeah, he's not been that long. Uh, and he's going to be there for a while because at B team, they don't care about the They're fucking belts. Yeah. And so it's, to them, it's like, it's just cool. And, when, and all the competitions that they're doing, belts don't matter either. Don't You're matter, not entering yeah. a competition yeah. by, you know, by yeah. belt. It's literally only by weight. So you well, look at look at his little brother. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. well, I can't think of his name. That dude is ugly as fuck. He's a weird looking boy. <laughs> dude, but uh, he's so he's really good. But man, every yeah. time I look at him, I'm like, damn boy. Yeah. Like damn. So, like you look at Nicky Rod and then you look at his brother yeah. and you're like, what happened, bro? Yeah. What happened? Yeah. But uh, <laughs> he he won the trials as a blue belt. His brother? The little one. I can't. Yeah. Think of his he's name really right good. Uh, J- Nikki, nope. that's the big one. Man, that's that's sad. We don't even know his name. I know he's a bad motherfucker. He's a bad motherfucker. I know he'll fuck. He my just shit uh, up. came back. He was hurt for a while. He broke his collarbone. Yeah. He was out eight weeks and is already ripping again. Dude, that boy is something yeah. else. But uh, the Nikki Rod fucking uh, armbar escape, dude, that was insane. I was, I was like, for sure. I was like, his, oh my god. His he popped his elbow. Yeah, ninety eight percent he popped his elbow, and also I think he popped his shoulder out of place. How do you turn your body like that? Well, he, I, we watched it. He, he turned. He didn't turn this way. He turned this way. Yeah, I but, don't know. Dude, his, he was completely the wrong... Like, his arm was completely behind him like this the wrong way. Yeah, I don't know. That, but that that's, how mu- that's, how he, that's how much of a fucking man... Nick, man, Nick, Nicky Rod's going to be here on Sunday. I wish I had time when, to go. When you think about... He's those, doing a seminar in Redlands. Yeah, when you think about those, that level, the caliber of people... They're gonna let their shit break. Look at Hoyler. Look but, at but, 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 Look at but look the at those guys. The difference is, is like Hoist or Hoyler. Let's talk about Hoyler. Hoyler had a reason to let his shit pop. First of all, he's fucking Hoyler Gracie. Uh, but like Philippe Andrew, he's like, hey, I can't go do the American Nationals next week and my shit's blown. Out. Yeah. Well, I mean, then you look at look at Gordon. Gordon broke his ankle in the hill yeah. in that ankle straight. Ankle. He let that shit break. That was also on UFC Fight Pass. Oh yeah, Nicky Rod did it. Yep. He broke his ankle. And he, he ended up winning the match. That's what I'm saying. Those guys. He won because of ride time, right? Or the ref's decision. Ride time, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But those guys are, like, they're on another level. Not only they're mental, men, mentally, they're just like, but that's, I'll let that, that shit that, break. That's going back to how you're getting paid. Gordon Ryan's getting paid for being the baddest motherfucker out there. Yeah. And he's getting paid to go compete in, in no time limit shit. Where, like, Philippe Andrew, he, yeah, if he would have won 30 grand, I mean, for sure, that's probably, at, at his point in life, he's young. That's probably life changing money to him. But, I mean, I bet he makes that every three months. Maybe. Just fucking fools up in the IBJJF with, like, almost no, t- without trying, you know what I mean? Yeah. I still can't up. get over Nicky, Nicky Rod's back escapes and even his arm, some of his armbar escapes. Armbar escapes seemed a little more challenging for yeah. him, but it wasn't, like, anything crazy. Uh, I mean, obviously, that last a, one he almost got. I think, yeah. I think if he, this was my thought. When he took Big Dan's net back, I was like, he has to finish him because there's no way he's escaping another fucking arm bar like that again. Yeah. He's, his arm was wrecked. His arm was tired. Your arm, if you've been in, if you, you know, when you're holding an arm bar like this, that shit gets tiring. Yeah. And did especially you, with someone that big. Did you see uh, how he finished that show? No. It was not a show. That was a crank. Oh. Oh, and he turned. Dude, he, po- it was his jaw was going to explode. But I, I would love to feel that once. But I mean, like, I mean, I knew, like, I was thinking while he was doing it, I was like, he has to finish it because he can't be put in that position again. Because if he, I'm, I'm pretty sure if he got put in that fucked. position, he would have been screwed. But that, man, when you texted me, you said, who has it? And I said, that's why I was like. Oh, you owe me five bucks, bitch. I do owe you five bucks. Yeah. I said, I said my, my exact words were, I think Big Dan can do it, but he's going to have to finish it in the first. Yeah, in the uh, time. In the, the time. Regulation. If it goes OT, he's over. It's you did, you did say that, but you sold me five bucks. I owe you five bucks. Nicky Rod, you can't ever bet against him. Dude, that dude is a savage. You see him and Hassan fucking going balls to the walls on YouTube? No, Those I Those motherfuckers it, yeah. get after yeah, it, dude. That's good stuff. 
Dude, Hoffman, it was a great. It was a great card. Um, it was a great, great event. I thought that was the the production value versus flow. Oh man, that night was and day so difference. So good. Audio quality. There was one time where one mic was off and then they turned it on, but in general, like you could hear everybody. No, the music was the, wasn't it was the, blasting. It was the other way. They had the they had the in room volume on and the mic on, so they killed the in room volume. Mm -hmm. Well, video quality, yeah. audio production. Per, I mean, it's a freaking UFC, so you can But like, there's a huge difference, like in levels of, of hosting events. Like that was legit. I, it's Except sad that it the sucks. fat dude who was fucking hosting wearing a jacket that was two size too small it, for him. <laughs> I, didn't see, I, I didn't took a picture of it. I meant to send it to you. I uh, I'm a little sad that. UFC is not going to host ADCC and put that caliber. Do you know what production. happened to it? No one. I don't think they. No one's talking knows. about it. So we know that because it got initially announced. it got announced. Yeah. They moved over to yeah. Fight Pass. Everybody was on all the fucking ADCC stuff started showing up on Fight Pass. That's when I went and signed up. I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna sign up now because it's cheaper. And um, and then out of nowhere it was like, oh, all of a sudden it was like back on flow. So there had been some big money. Exchanging hands for that to happen. Flo did some big dick shit. Yeah, which is crazy because uh, the homie that puts it on, he's rich as fuck. Yeah, yeah, he's like a, he's a sheep. Yeah, or Sultan or whatever. Super crazy him. rich. Anyways, I was, um, yeah, I, I mean, I would love to see ADCC with that production. Although I don't think ADCC would go as wild with like all the fireworks and all the shit that they were doing. Like, yeah, it well, won't be like that. What they need to do is kind of condense ADCC. It was like fucking 18 hours. It was rough. I mean, I was fucked up the second day and I fell asleep during part of it. Yeah, I probably but fell I was, asleep too. I was fucked up. Yeah. I missed that one and Gordon Hill, Hill hooked that dude really quick too. I was still sleeping. But, yeah. uh, yeah, hopefully they make it just a little bit quicker. It's it's a little bit too much. You got you got some notes. What do you got in your fucking notes? Um, I mean, we can talk about that next week. We could just... You know, we got to compete tomorrow. We've both been... Yeah. We're going to do, we're gonna do uh, one Sunday and probably one Monday. Um, so we're going we're gonna to stack a couple up. So you might, you, we might interlace some of the, the conversations a little bit between the three because we're doing them so quick together. So quick together, yeah. Um, <clears throat> but, man, I had a fucking shitty week, and I'm hoping tomorrow that it gets better. Like, I, will, I, I mean, I mentally feel good. Do you have a buy at all? Oh, no, you... No, because someone, someone else came in the bracket. Uh, I got a buy. four dudes. Hell, yeah. You know, the thing about World League is... Um, you gotta fight for third. Exactly. You go all out on your first one because yeah. otherwise you have to fight for third, and the third place bracket is. How many dudes are in your division? Five. At two two eight. You went up to two eight. Yeah. So two four. No six. I think six. six. So yeah. you're the seventh guy. Uh, no six altogether. Okay. So there's two. So how'd you get a buy? Because there's two people on that bracket, and then me. I had the buy, and there's two people on this bracket, and then they have a buy. The other dude. Oh, have that's a buy. weird. Yeah, I um, and so yeah, my yeah. guy, I got there's three, me and three other two or three other dudes. So it's me and one dude, and those dudes go, and then whoever wins goes, and whoever loses yeah. goes. Yeah. Well, if I that's this is where I was. This is what happened to me last time. I had a buy, I lost, and then when I went to um, no, there was more people because I won my first match, and then I lost the second match, so and then I had to fight for yeah. third. But fighting for third is brutal because you're fighting for third, yeah. and you got like. You go from right now. If I win, I two 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 wins and I get gold. Yeah. But if I lose, it ends up being like four matches to get third place. So it's kind of like yeah. it, it really does suck. And and so you, I already know like if I lose the first one and I'm fighting for the third, I'm just gonna go out to have yeah. fun. I'm like just gonna yeah. go through a fuck shit, go yeah. for whatever, you know, and just do fun shit because. Dude, th that's brutal. Um, and I, you know, third place is like I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I don't well, care. Right now, like I'm starting to, I'm starting to feel myself as a purple belt. Not that I'm good at it, but I'm starting to get over the the imposter syndrome. Yeah. I do not want to fucking compete tomorrow. Dude, my fucking back is killing me. I'm fucking tired. That, that's my I got biggest. So much fucking work right now. I, I've been excited to compete. Like yeah. it's weird because I've been trying to compete so much. That I was I get super over the excited until I had to fucking travel the last two weeks. For me, it's just my back. I feel strong as fuck. I feel like my game has been Who doing weird. Nobody. Who blew you out? Nobody. Someone was giving I you back shot? I get, I'm so You're good. You're giving yourself back I'm shots? I'm so good, I blew my own <laughs> back out. So. Uh, hopefully you put um, in that work. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I've, I've just been feeling really, really like strong. My cardio's been on point. I've been, like, you know, just on what point What is on everywhere. point for you on cardio? Not being gassed out. Are you still going? <laughs> I always do that. Oh, okay. Gonna, people are going to have to deal with that. That's just what I do. That fucking mouth guard makes it worse. This motherfucker wears a mouth guard, That's too. That's right. That's right. 
But anyways, I felt good, and then my back, so I'm just... I'm just going to go out. You know, I don't know what my game is going to be tomorrow. Either go for broke and just go for a takedown, go for something. And so I, I have my game plan. I've been playing on this because uh, that's all I got is mental right now. Uh, arm drag to the back is going to be the game. I've been thinking about doing an arm drag if, to single leg. Yeah, if I, can't, if, I, that's a, if I can't get the arm drag to the back, I'm going to go arm drag to single. Or I'm going to go arm to scoop in the leg I to can, try to dump them. I can, I've, in competition, I've been able to single out their arm and get my, my fingers into their gi mm -hmm. and knuckle down cat's paw yeah mm -hmm. so that they can't get their hand back wrapped around mm -hmm. and i've been doing it successful with that but i never use it and i normally i usually do that to set up to grab the inside collar yeah. and then do the drag yeah but i'm, I'm not going to go for drags in competition so i'm like dude if i can catch arm that drag. that's what i'm saying yeah, yeah. if i can get to that point again it's an easy arm drag and then i can go to the single leg uh, or even go for a double leg from the side, whatever it is. But I used to be all about that, the forcing the arm down with the... I, I love in, it. In, it's in annoying. In judo, Shit. they call it the cat's paw. Okay. Um, but yeah, I used to be all about that. But there's like, I have no control from there. I like to go to... The, I got more traditional judo behind the arm. Uh, the, re the reason I like it is it frustrates people. They get so frustrated when they can't move their hand, and that, then they that, make that, mistakes. That's the thing about like knowing your game versus other people's game. Like That doesn't bother me at all, because I'll get out of that every fucking time. Even when you do it to me, I'll just roll my wrist and get out of it. But, well, or, or start to roll my wrist and like trying to trap your wrist I, while you're making your wrist. I, I do like try that. to like get the gi enough so that there's no room for their wrist to. That, that's what around. I used. To, I used to really be really big on that, but it still it doesn't bother me because I'll start fucking with your collar. Yeah, the, well, I mean positions. the good thing is if I can catch it, the, the if you're good enough, the key is if you catch it, you go straight for the move. You have it already. No yeah. waiting. A lot of my problem Definitely is I wait. Waiting. You know, yeah, that's hang the hard, out. That's for sure the hard yeah. part. Yeah. So if I can get there. Arm drag, boom, single leg, and that's that's the plan. Yeah. Single leg, and then what do they call it? Walk the pipe, or whatever the run fuck the they pipe. call it. Run the pipe. Yeah. That's the plan. I'm not I'm not gonna run forward, because nah, last time I ran forward and I got fucking yeah. Yeah. thrown over. Nah, don't, so don't, I'm gonna go boom, don't, pull don't, the side. Don't run the pipe. This is what you need to do. Single leg to the fucking moon, and if he oh, doesn't go uh, down, what do they call it? The uh, in wrestling when you go. Um, in Give wrestling. it the old dick punch. Well, there's a term for when you go like deep <laughs> something. It's like all the way under each other. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm trying to go home so I can go deep right now, dog. Yeah. Anyway, fucking go to the moon and kick the shit out kick of the, the leg. leg. Pull Louie. Yeah, I mean, I was I was rolling with Cody today, and Cody is like, he's my size basically. He's little, he's taller. Dude, than I watched Jonathan roll with him. That shit was insane. They were going hard. I was I'm like, sure. holy fuck. But uh, Cody has a, a different style. He doesn't care about getting taken down. Yeah. Um, but I'm able to usually trap his leg and pick him up. And uh, it's funny, someone was saying something to me about it today. I was like, yes. I understand what you're saying. It's one, I'm not trying to use my back to lift his ass right now because I'm competing yeah. tomorrow. And two, I had him like in a, in a kind of a trap position on his knee. And when I push on people's knee right there, it feels like I'm going to blow their shit out. So it's like, yeah. I don't want to do that in the gym. Yeah, especially in the gym. But tomorrow, if I catch Came someone on. there, I might blow your shit out. Or I, I might know. get we'll my see. shit blown I, out. I'm, I'm excited. I've been working a lot of like um, um, side, um, sorry, escapes from like uh, half guard and. Uh, things like that. I usually end up in half guard uh, when I'm in the competition. I always end up in half guard. So I've Why been, I put myself there? I think I do too. I don't know. I always end up there. But I've been working on escapes from there to get out. Um, and I've been hitting them pretty consistently. So um, even like I said last week, I was rolling with a couple people. We rolled twice. And I was like, hey, can we just start from half guard? And I was able to get out and get them out. So I'm hoping that that's paying off. You know, um, you know like Omar says, the hardest roles are in the gym because people know your game. How about this? You owe me five bucks. Monday. I should be there Monday. You roll Monday? I'll probably be there Monday. Yeah. Monday, I start in top half guard. You get your five bucks back if we can get this out. guy. He, ain't he brings out. the world with him. I bring the earth. He brings gravity. That's what I'm trying to do. The earth? Yeah. E A R F. Earth. Earth. Yeah. yeah. Earth. Earth. <laughs> I, don't I don't know if I have anything else. I'm fucking tired. Anyways, all right, guys. Well, uh, it might, short I don't, one today. Yeah, it sorry. might be a little short. I don't know how long it's ran, but it was a good. About one. forty minutes. Yeah, it's, it's a. We got to compete tomorrow. Yep. A lot of you guys, if you guys are watching this um, and you're competing, good luck. Have fun. Hey, there's no fucking luck. It's all work, homie. It's all work. It's all work. All work. Hey, I love the whole the fact the whole squad's gonna be there and everyone's gonna be there to support you. Uh, I think that's one of the coolest. I, hey, all thing, you, I think that's cool all you motherfuckers think you're tight doing nogi? I will not fucking be there. Yeah, that's late as fuck. Late as fuck. You know what I'm going to be? Eating food. I'm going to be eating food with John. Yeah, and so a beer. I'll probably have a beer with you. Yeah, After, oh, beer. so I actually podcast from now until Master Worlds, no beers. Unless okay. But we have to have some sort of drink. Yeah, I almost got the second well, one. Well, no, down. we have to have some, 
some weird drinks. We'll have something for sure. Like weird sodas. Because I was thinking something. about I was thinking about trying to do eight weeks off. It's been a while since I've done eight weeks. I mean, off I drinking. just I mean, I barely started drinking again. I took ten weeks off of drinking. Man, I like that beers. was rough. I like beers. I love beer. Do you know how hard that was? Okay, we're gonna be drinking beers, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try not to drink as many beers. Uh, and we're not gonna get give us in. give us some ideas for some weird drinks that we can drink on the podcast. Yeah. The deal is we have to drink the whole fucking thing. Yeah. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> He's like. That. There's I'm some not, nasty ass drinks I'm, I'm out not there. Drinking some shit, but uh, okay, yeah, we'll have right. beers. We'll figure it out. But it's not going to be 10 a.m. beers like last week. Yeah, that was, last well, week, that was special. We were going out, dude. We fuck. were going to hang out all day. We last, drank all day. And the fucking next and then day. the next day, yeah, there was a lot of drinking. Then I had to wake up, go to work, and then fucking go to Florida. That was this has been Savage. a shit week. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the podcast. We'll be back next week with another one, and probably some. Uh, some it, stories about some getting stories, our asses beat. Yeah, some stories about uh, either well, no participation trophy this time. No, we, we got, got work. We, got, we got to put some work in if we want to. We want a medal. Yeah, we got to put some work in. We got to put that work. This is this is probably my second to last competition this year at Blue Belt. Oh yeah, for sure. This because, motherfucker's sniffing it now. He's like, <laughs> because the next competition will be is it World Masters? Yeah, but you can't get promoted before then. No, 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 I can't. Yeah, yeah the next but the World Masters is, doing, yeah. is, is is that's what it's called? Yeah. Yeah. So the next one will be World Masters at Blue. And then that'll be probably my last competition at Blue. You better so. make sure to tell them not to promote you for whenever. April, I think yeah. it is. You'll be in the same conundrum I'm in. Yeah, you got, April. You do fucking and then league. I have an excuse, and I can just do World League. Yeah. Man, fuck World League. It sucks. Yeah. Anyways, have a good one. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Leave a like. That helps with the algorithm. If you don't know how Please. YouTube views, YouTube views. If you do not know how YouTube works, your comments, your, your thumbs up, all that stuff... It helps. Leaves, it helps the algorithm so that they share out these podcasts more. So, And share out the podcast. If you guys are enjoying it, share it to your friends, your mothers, your grandmas, your kids, your babies. I don't care. Just we'll do, share we'll do some free shirt giveaways to the 40 and fighting uh, if you do some sharing shit. Yeah, we'll see um, what's coming. You got anything else? That's it. Have a good one. Jonah, just know I could have put my finger so far in your ass today and I didn't. Us. <laughs>